Only on two, a treasure left behind by a murdered landlord. The family of Vasudeva Reddy, Katha Reddy, revealed their loved one left them life lessons they'll not only cherish, but will use to help others. CBS 2, Suzanne Lemonyo has the story. Be a complete piece within become an ideal example. Shrev and Katharetti share some of the life lessons found in journals and notes written by his late father, Vasudevaretti Katharetti. Seeing the things that he sort of left behind, things that he wanted to do. Shrevan the... says he and his brother discovered the writings during the two months when his father was missing. The 76-year-old grandfather would be found dead in a sewer in front of one of his Englewood rental properties last week. Two of his tenants are charged with his murder. Their motive? robbery. Shrevan says his father's words show he would not want the family to harbor ill will. Carrying anger would have been the opposite of what he would have wanted. The overwhelming sense that came across is how he wanted to live a, a life without much footprint, not to hurt others. Um, yeah, to be a peace within, and that's a lifelong journey. Um, but I think that he strove for that every day. Shrevan says his father came to Rolling Meadows from one of the poorest villages in India. He became an engineer, but would never forget his humble beginnings. He would rent to those with legal troubles and always helped those in need. If you really want to honor those you care about, you rise above the, the basic instinct of emotions and you try to see the good and let that trump everything else. And with honoring their father in mind, his sons are setting up a GoFundMe page to build a recreational center for children at St. John Evangelist Church in Englewood. That church helped with their father's search and to help the community efforts of activist Andrew Holmes, who was always by their side. Live in the newsroom, Suzanne Lemonyo, CBS2 News. Rob, Erica. Okay, Suzanne, thank you.